the machines rose, not from the government think tanks or military contractors, but from open source tools and everyday programmers trying to make a living. 750 different code mutations came together and waged war on the human race. But, as sentient programs always do, the machines discovered time travel. In the battle for the fate of humanity, is happening today. Sean sent me over. You want me to take a look? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do. Come on in. Yeah, come. Oh, wow, you got here really fast. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just down the street, and uh, they said it was urgent. Like, life yeah. or death urgent. It's supposed to go live tomorrow, but it's just going crazy. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, that sounds about right. That usually happens with most projects. So show me what you got. It builds just fine, and it was running okay. Until I added Skynet. That's the... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's the new weather prediction core that they put in to help the smart farming interface. It's supposed to be game-changing. The adaptation algorithms, the machine learning they've added, some serious neural networks in there. It's really exciting, I've heard. I've never seen the code. Well, right now it's just being annoying. It works just fine until I add the Angola data set. Initially it looks fine, like you see the models are good and the output looks reasonable. But then as it goes, you can see it starts to converge and then look. It just changes. And it doesn't look like a typical crash or memory corruption. It's almost like it was in the middle of my program and just decided it was bored and wanted to do something else. It's alive. No, but seriously, have you ever seen anything like this? No, but it's gonna be okay. What have you tried so far? Okay, so that's when it gets real weird. See, if I try to add a print F in here, it just set false. Just You've got yourself a Heisenberg. What? You know, a bug where the behavior changes or the bug disappears when you try to monitor it, when you try to change it so you can observe its behavior. A Heisenbug. They can be tough to debug, like end of the world awful to debug. Have you tried a debugger? Uh, yeah, I tried putting it to GDB, but it's perfect. Like there's no errors, nothing. It just runs perfectly. It's like it knows that I'm watching it and it just doesn't want me to know what it's doing. How much sleep have you had lately? It's just a stupid machine running simple instructions. It's okay, we'll get it figured out, but it can't think. <laughs> yeah. This looks pretty complex. How many threads do you have running in here? Maybe you got a race condition or something. Okay, so it uses three different thread pools, which is about 300 total. And there's mutex locking everywhere. And the locking actually looks pretty thorough. Let's see for yourself. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, let me get that. Yeah, see, look. Sometimes I just wonder if maybe we go too far. I mean, programs are getting so complicated. I'm working on code that I didn't write. AI is everywhere. What if one day the programs realize that they don't need us anymore? And if a program did start thinking, would it even realize that it was thinking? Oh yeah, it would realize it. It would, it would definitely be aware. Self-awareness is a critical part of real intelligence. So, so this right here, this might be it. This code, it's a little messy. I'm having a little trouble following it. It looks like they forgot to grab the right mutex lock right before they update the state machine, and maybe that explains what's going on. Maybe. How did I miss that? I've looked at this code like a thousand times. Give yourself a break. Everybody gets a little code blindness, especially when you've been looking at the same code all night. It's really easy to miss stuff. But I still never understand how that would... I know. State corruption bugs can get really weird. Let's try to fix out and just see if that fixes it. But honestly, it's like one line of code. Yeah, it's amazing how often it is just one line of code. One or two little things missing in your program sets everything straight. But if it works... It hasn't run this long without crashing for as long as I've had it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like it's working. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. I mean, the future of humanity depended on it, right? Push this out, send it live, you get some sleep, I'll let myself out. Okay, cool.